All right, good evening, eighth grade families. Um, can you believe we're planning for high school? It is going by so fast. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Miss Hawk at all. I'm the school counselor here at Millie Academy. And Miss Kalinoff is in the back and she is our school registrar. So she and I today are gonna be talking about the importance of high school and how to plan throughout high school to be successful and gear up for college. Um, so first things first, I have to admit that we have been meeting with a lot of seniors this year that are all worked up about their ninth grade grades. They didn't realize that in ninth grade that all of those grades are reflecting on their high school transcript and now they're going, trying to go off to college and scholarships and everything is based on your cumulative GPA. So we just wanted to make a point to remind you that high school goes very fast and that everything is going to start to matter once ninth grade starts. Um, once you're in high school, there's gonna be a lot of new opportunities for the students to become involved in. And again, remember that with high school, we're also we're planning for college. So everything that your student can be involved in in high school, take advantage of opportunities. Everything looks so good on your college applications and your resumes and all of that. Also, another thing that some of our current ninth graders have had a hard time with this year is advocating for themselves. Uh, Ms. Kalinoff and I actually had a good conversation earlier today about the fact that students will not tell us that they're struggling in, in a class until they have a F and they have to dig themselves out of such a deep hole that it seems impossible. But students, once you are in high school, we need you to advocate for yourselves and we need you to come see us. If you don't feel comfortable talking to a teacher, the reason Ms. Kalinoff and I are here is for you guys. And so if you are having a hard time in a class, you come see us. We get you set up with a tutor right away. Or parents, if you see something going on, reach out to us right away so that we're not digging out of a deep hole later on. Um, so just use us, because that's why we're here. Also in four years, we just want to make sure that you kids know to balance their time. Um, stay on top of homework because even you guys in eighth grade you know that if you don't do your homework it piles on so ninth grade is going to be even more rigorous than eighth grade so stay on top of it Schoology how many of you eighth graders check your Schoology okay thank you for your honesty Schoology is how you're gonna get like all of your communication in high school especially from Miss Kalinoff and I if we need to talk to you guys we have a meeting going on we don't send notes to your classroom. We don't come track you down. We put it on Schoology. You eighth graders will be in a group just with us that we will post anything on. So make sure you pay attention to Schoology. Also parents, um, if you need help with Schoology, Ms. Kalinoff is awesome and can get you guys on track to figure out if you're missing anything. Um, and again, just talk to your teachers and be responsible for you. I, the time you graduate, these are the things that we need to fill in your schedule. You don't have to do it all your freshman year, but if we let you take only study hall, you know, every semester, by the time you get to your senior year, you might not have everything you need. So we're gonna try to walk you through. If you need a study hall, we'll try to work that with you, but you do need to be taking those electives and all those extra classes to make sure you get through. Um, so the things that you are going to see on registration tomorrow, you're automatically gonna be put in World History, Geography, and Intro to the Bible. Everybody takes those. And we're not building a schedule when you're doing this. All you're doing is putting in your selections. We don't even have a schedule made for next year. Once the computer sees who wants what and needs what, it kind of starts to flush it out. So don't worry about, well, I wanna be with this person or this hour, that doesn't exist yet. Language, we usually have all the ninth graders do Spanish one. Now, if you're a person who is coming to us maybe from somewhere else and already has had Spanish, um, talk to us individually and we'll work that out and figure out where you need to be. You do need two years of a language to graduate high school and if you know that the college you're going to requires more summer colleges do ask for three or four so you that's something to keep in mind that it's that's why we want to start it in freshman year we don't want to put it off too much because if you don't do it until your junior year then you're kind of stuck a little bit. Now some of the choices you will have are English we now will have English 9 and Honors English 9. Honors English 9 simply moves at a quicker pace. You might have a couple extra books you read, maybe a little bit more writing. It's, it's going to move a little bit more. So that's something that you're going to have to talk about, students and parents. Maybe talk to a teacher and say, 
hey, what do you think? Do you think this is a good fit for me to do it at a little faster pace? I know a lot of kids really like it because they can just keep moving. So that's one is up to you. There's also intro to physics and chemistry. Those are the science classes, one is each semester, but there's also an honors option for those science classes. And those do move significantly, you know, a little bit faster. I'd say she's usually at least a unit or two ahead, would you say that for me? So, um, but the great thing is if you really are into the science field and you wanna be able to be free your junior and senior year to take AP Chem, AP Physics, all our engineering classes, then you really might want to consider taking the summer class that's being offered this summer. It's going to be basically this intro to physics, intro to chemistry in about four weeks, I think, right? So you're going to work, you're going to do it hard, but you're going to get that whole course done this summer. Then next year, instead of taking the ninth grade intro to physics and chemistry, you'll be able to be in some of those AP prep classes and get you on that different track. And if you look in the course guide later, you'll see the science track. I know it looks kind of crazy. And if you are one of those people who's interested, we can talk you through it. But if you are pretty sure you're gonna wanna be in one of those upper level science classes, or if you want a lot of them, make sure that you're planning ahead now. All right, so the other things you'll have are math. So you're gonna have to take a look at what math you're in right now, and then base your selection on where you're moving to next year. It's just a kind of a single track. So again, that's there's a picture of that in the course guide. Um, just another little advertisement here. We know that algebra, you have algebra one and then geometry and then algebra two. And so sometimes those algebra skill, kill, skills, they kind of you know get way back here instead of front and center. So if you wanna start next year ready to go on algebra two, if that's the math you're gonna be in, you could consider taking this algebra prep class this summer. It will count as a half credit high school math. Um, but it's a way to brush up on those skills and get yourself a little bit head, st head start on the algebra class. So just some possibilities. Then you have a lot more elective choice now in high school. You can do choir, which is full year, or band is full year, but then there's a lot of different arts classes. There's graphic design, digital photography, um, drama class. There's some tech classes, as you can see, and there's also health and strength, th strength training. You will need some of all of these to graduate. So it's a great idea to do at least one of these your freshman year. Now, if you are a student who um, knows that you're gonna just really need a lot of work time, you know, we can talk about a study hall, or if you know that that's good, we can talk about doing maybe one semester, but it's a great thing to try to at least get one of these taken care of your freshman year. All right, I think we already talked about this, that when we submit, all four years matter, and it's true, I've had some sad students at my desk this year going, Mrs. Kluna, nobody told me it mattered. And it does. Um, some things that you can be thinking about now is if you do decide to do those honors classes, we are a weighted GPA school, which means instead of an A just counting as a 4.0, if you get an A in a weighted class, it actually counts as a 4.2. So all of those classes have that 0.2 weighting if it's honors or AP. And so if as you're going through, you take some of those upper level classes, that's gonna boost your GPA a little bit. So do know that moving forward, that's one advantage to those weighted classes. You will also have service hours in upper school. In middle school, we took care of it all internally with Project Serve. Next year, you are a little bit more responsible for taking care of those. Now 15 hours, it might seem like a lot just looking at it, but as you think about what you do, I hope that many of you are just naturally doing it. You don't even realize it. Maybe you're helping in nursery, teaching some Sunday school, you know, offering to mow or to do Iwana. leaves for the and Awana. I mean, there's there's places all over that you can be serving. You know, here within school um, and out of school. And I just think it's great when you do something that's fun for you. You know, don't just go about it. Oh, I'm required to serve. Use your gifts and talents. You all are gifted in so many different ways. If you love to play basketball, see if there's something that you can do. Maybe you can volunteer a little, oh gosh, of course. Yeah. You could um, <laughs> volunteer to, to do a little, you know, camp with some of your neighbor kids or something like that. If you love music, maybe you could teach some lessons to um, a neighbor or a younger kid. You know, there's a lot of ways that you can be serving in ways that are about you and not, not in a forced way where you're doing something just to do it. We want to build that heart of service. Here, please please, please come talk to Ms. Hockadal and I if you need some help with stuff. 
there is a writing center available for papers uh, and other writing assignments. There is NHS homework help uh, if you need help in math or something like that. Flex time, please take opportunities again to visit your teachers. We hear from teachers all the time. I'm here or flex Monday and Tuesday. I tell these 15 students to come and nobody comes. It's hard for us to advocate for you if you're not taking advantage of the opportunities being given. Okay, so it goes both ways. We want to advocate for you, but it's it, you have to you have to do your part too. And of course, if these things are not working, sometimes it is best to just we can help you try to find an outside tutor if that's the best fit for you. And. I will just mention this because we're going to do this next. Naviance is our uh, it's an online tool that we have started to use this year and I personally think it's fantastic. I have loved it. It's made um, a lot of our information come together but as ninth graders you're going to start to get in there. It is a uh, career and college tool and it's a tool so if you just stare and look at it it's going to do nothing for you. It will not help you at all. But if you go in and you start taking the interest inventories and you do some, there's like, I don't know, nine to 10 different inventories you can take about your learning style, about what you like to do. And it starts to make these clusters about you. All ninth graders have received an email with instructions of how to register with their login information. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call me.